Fora TV. Idea Immersion. Visit us at www.fora.tv. The real issue here is electricity. And the real issue behind it, the thing that we are most concerned about, is climate change. And the conventional wisdom on climate change is that basically what we have is a situation of partly natural, but mostly human-induced, mostly by the use of fossil fuels. We are seeing a gradual rise in the temperature of the Earth, and that this will take place over the next several centuries and will rise maybe three, four, five degrees a century. And we're not going to like the consequences, especially if you live in the Maldives or Bangladesh, places like that, which will progressively disappear under rising seas. Now, that could happen. Uh, that's possible. But I think there's a much worse scenario that we face and a far more likely scenario and that the science and the evidence is pointing us in that direction. And you get a hint of it by looking backwards. And that is that what we face is the possibility not of several centuries of gradual global warming, but abrupt climate change. That is rapid changes in our climate as we've experienced many times in the past, changes of five, 10 degrees over the course of a decade, not centuries, and that it could become very volatile, and that that warming, in fact, oddly enough, could trigger cooling. And without going into all the mechanisms by which that happens, gradually, as the Earth warms, you see what's already beginning to happen, polar ice melting, glaciers melting, and so on, fresh water flowing into the North Atlantic, affecting the currents that move huge amounts of heat around the Earth, and that gradually produce the temperate climates that we all experience in the upper parts of uh, the Earth, the northern latitudes. Uh, if the Earth warms rapidly, one of the results is that we could see the Earth cool, as has happened many times before. And in fact, the greatest risk we face is not merely gradual climate change, but a return to the normal climate of the Earth. And that's what this is showing us. What you see here, uh, there we go, this is the last 10,000 years of human history, all of human civilization. We could, in fact, settle down when the Earth's climate stabilized. We could have agriculture, we could have uh, the uh, uh, development of cities and so on. All of that took place in the last 10,000 years after really serious global warming. By the way, you can see this is about 20 degrees centigrade here. So it's a lot of movement. This is the normal climate of the Earth, very volatile and much colder. The risk that we face by rapidly rising CO2 production in the atmosphere is not a warmer Earth. It is a return to the normal climate of the Earth, an end to what we call the interglacial, these 10,000-year periods that happen every quarter million to half a million years of relative stability. The risk that we face is that if this happens, we face a very dire prospect. And that dire prospect is very simple. This can support 8 billion people. This may be two. Six are going to have to get off the planet. And the way they get off the planet is war. This is a recipe for war. And that's what I'm most concerned about, is that if we fail to deal adequately with the abrupt climate change challenge, we will find ourselves in a rapidly declining carrying capacity of the planet and the inability to support the people of the Earth. Uh, now, we did a lot of work on this for the Pentagon a couple of years ago, and what we could see then was the evidence that this was increasingly coming true. We were already seeing freshening of the North Atlantic. We were already beginning to see some of the fluctuations in the current. We were seeing it in the climate history. We've even seen some recent indications in the last year offshore California. The absence of a salmon season most of the year was due to the lack of an upwelling uh, from the Pacific, change in the currents there. These are the conditions and early signs of an abrupt shift. And it is not guaranteed, it's a risk, it could be wrong, but the risk is rising that that is what we face. So I believe that in fact, the real risk here is that our civilization is at risk. This is not simply a small matter of a few countries and a shift in the agricultural pattern of the world. This is our very civilization that is at risk here.